Kodak was best known as a manufacturer of film. However, they made many, many other photographic products, including a lot of cameras. Now, the major manufacturing plant was, of course, in the States, but in the UK, Kodak had a very strong presence. And in North London, in Hendon, it had a very large factory, mainly making film, but a factory that at stages made cameras, mainly things like the Brownie and the Instamatic. However, they did make a number of 35 mil cameras. And probably the most famous one of those was the Color Snap. And the Color Snap is a very basic manual camera. But in 1963, they also made this Auto Color Snap. And this I find to be a fascinating camera. We have a manual focusing lens here and we have an automatic exposure meter. The camera automatically selects the aperture and I think perhaps one of two shutter speeds and it selects those automatically. There's a needle which if it's under exposed, the needle comes into the window and you can tell you haven't got enough light, but if the exposure is fine, you do not see the exposure in the meter. It's a very basic lens. I think it's a, it's a 43.9 mil Kodak lens, 5.6. So it's not the fastest of lenses. But as I said, it's quite a modern design for 1960s. It, I have put a film through this and I got mixed results. The first film I put through actually had a light leak and I had to um, put some black felt on the seal here. There isn't a film in, just let me check, there's no film in the camera at the moment. So what I had to do was put a seal there. Right. I then put another film through the camera and some of the results were quite sharp, one or two of the images were not. It was quite fun to use. It's a bit annoying to wind back the film, you have to use this lever here. It's not all plastic, there's a metal body to the camera. I think it's actually quite well made and it's quite nice to use. It was clearly aimed at the amateur snapshot market, but the snapshot photo shooter who wanted just a little bit of a step up. It's an interesting camera. It's not going to take the highest quality images, but if you want something a bit different and just to have a go at a film camera and you find one of these, it might be worth giving it a spin and seeing what it produces. Thanks for now.